Read sub process stout line by line. My Python script uses subprocess to call a Linux utility that is very noisy. I want to store all of the output to a log file and show some of it to the user. I thought the following would work, but the output doesn't show up in my application until the utility has produced a significant amount of output. The behavior I really want is for the filter script to print each line as it is received from the subprocess. Sorta like what T does but with Python code. What am I missing? Is this even possible? Update. If a sys.stout.flush is added to fake underscore utility.py, the code has the desired behavior in Python 3.1. I'm using Python 2.6. You would think that using proc.stout.zredlines would work the same as PyEC, but it doesn't. Update 2. Here is the minimal working code. I think the problem is with the statement for line in proc.stout, which reads the entire input before iterating over it. The solution is to use redline instead. Of course you still have to deal with the subprocess buffering. Note, according to the documentation the solution with an iterator should be equivalent to using redline, except for the read-ahead buffer, but, or exactly because of this, the proposed change did produce different results for me, Python 2.5 on Windows XP. Bit late to the party, but was surprised not to see what I think is the simplest solution here. This requires Python 3. Indeed, if you sorted out the iterator then buffering could now be your problem. You could tell the Python in the subprocess not to buffer its output. Becomes. I have needed this when calling Python from within Python. A function that allows iterating over both stout and stare concurrently, in real time, line by line. In case you need to get the output stream for both stout and stare at the same time, you can use the following function. The function uses queues to merge both popen pipes into a single iterator. Here we create the function read underscore popen underscore pipes. read underscore popen underscore pipes in use. You want to pass these extra parameters to subprocess.popen. Then you can iterate as in your example. Tested with Python 3.5. 